Life journey in this world is a fight. First Timothy chapter one verse eighteen, Paul's charge to Timothy. Timothy, my son, I'm giving you this command in keeping with the prophecies once made about you, so that you by so that by recalling them, you may fight the battle well. Fight the battle well, holding on to faith and a good conscience, which some have、uh, rejected and shipwrecked, etc. <clears throat> you may fight the battle well. Wow, you see, a lot of Christians don't realize that they are in a spiritual warfare. Wage the good warfare, ESV say. Fight a good fight. You know the word fight and warfare is not really in our normal day nomenclature as Christians because we don't want to hear about that. We would, you know, we just want to peace and relax and、uh, have a good community. But the very fact, the fabric of the good community and rest, includes the spiritual battle. Paul's lingo is full of battle. Let me read to you. Wage the good warfare, holding faith and good conscience. How do you fight? Holding your faith. Okay, so you fight by holding. You fight the battle way.、Uh, you fight the battle well, holding on to faith and a good conscience. So you hold on to your faith. And a good conscience. It seems that the forces of darkness try to pull you, to shipwreck you, and some have re- already rejected and sort of shipwrecked their faith, like Hermanus and Alexander, etc. Now, let's see what this good fight is all about. Okay,、um, Carson's NIV Study Bible says, God revealed His unfolding will through godly leadership. Recalling these prophets will fortify Timothy to fight the battle he faces. Paul uses military metaphors repeatedly in appealing to Timothy. First Timothy six twelve. Okay, so Paul wrote this is final charge to Timothy. First Timothy chapter six verse eleven on. But you men of God flee from all this. And pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Pursue all these things. How do you fight? All right. How do you fight in this world? You fight in this world by fleeing from the sin, all the sin, all sins, all all of this, which is a love of money, etc. Godliness. That's a. That was just the passage just be, right before that. Fight the good fight of faith. Okay,、uh, pursue righteousness. How do you fight? Flee from sin and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love. You pursue them. This is how we fight. You know, we fight by fleeing from sins and evil, and then pursue righteousness, love, justice. Wow, righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness, endurance. You can, if you can endure, you can fight. Do you realize a Christian walk with God in this world is a, a journey of endurance? How much can you you can endure? If you endure well, you will reach a finishing point. But you need to endure. You need to,、uh, you know, have pursue godliness, righteousness, faith, love. Beautiful. You need to pursue faith. Without faith, you can't win this battle. Without faith, you can't see God and pursue love. Don't forget love. Love of God, love of human beings, brothers, sisters in Christ, one another. And the verse twelve says, "Fight the good fight of of the faith." Again, fight again. See that?、Um, fight the good fight of the faith. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Take hold of the eternal life. Fight. <laughs> yeah, today is actually election day in America, and we saw President Trump when he was who was injured by assassination attempt, and that was.、Uh, You know that there was a、uh, there was something hit the face somewhat, 
and he was bleeding on the face a little bit and uh and that bleeding you know that that and he yelled out three words pumping his fist fight 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 wow that's a pretty strong mat uh, uh, symbolic picture you know he fought for his politics for what is right for america we fight for our faith for our belief for our god in this world fight fight the good fight of the faith you know our faith needs to be fought we need to fight why do we need to fight because because satan is coming against us oppositions the world the culture and everything in the world are trying to get hold of us trying to demolish us trying to discourage us tries to trying to tempt us to dis deconstruct our faith I've seen dear some dear loved ones lost their faith essentially because of deconstruction because of compromising because because she didn't fight strong okay so fight the good fight of faith take hold of the eternal life you are saved you have eternal life but did you fight okay did you fight it you have to fight if you don't fight it well you are not going to you're not going to come out the other side well you have to fight um in the sight of god <laughs> who gives who gives um life to everything and of christ jesus who while testifying before Pontius Pilate made the good confession, I charge you to keep this command without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which God will bring about in his own time. God, the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, who alone is immortal and uh, who lives in the unapproachable light and no one can see. So you see that? Um, in the sight of God who gives life to everything see God gives us life if we don't have life we've got nothing you know the life is that that gives us the vibrancy gives us the hope gives gives us the energy gives us the joy gives us you know everything we breathe the very life that we breathe and that is like like the vineyard you know Jesus said I'm the I'm the vine, you are the branch. Abide in me or remain in me. And abide in me and you will bear much fruit. But outside of me, you will wither and be cut off and thrown out. That is, that is what, what you call the, um, um, that is what you call the, uh, the life. Another one, 2 Timothy chapter 2. Uh, verse 3 okay join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Jesus Christ see join with me in suffering another fight another fight in life is suffering willing to suffer for Christ you know begin to resolutely decide um, you're gonna choose Christ and give up certain things or even careers of money and opportunities in this world you know this is this is uh that's why jesus said the road the road uh the road to salvation is narrow many are called but only few chosen you see that so join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. We are soldiers of Jesus Christ. So guys, we are soldiers, spiritual souls. What do spiritual soldiers do? We fight. That means we go and proclaim the word of God. We pray for thy kingdom come. We demolish strongholds. We preach the gospel that has the power, that God, the Holy Spirit's power come releases those in bondage, those who never known Christ, may know Christ all over again, be regenerated, 
all this good stuff okay so another one second timothy 4 7 uh paul is departure now he said for i'm being i'm already being poured out like a drink offering and the time for my departure is near i fought the good fight i finished the rest i've kept the faith now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness waiting for me i fought a good fight paul sees his life as a journey of fight i fought a good fight you know i finished the race i'm ready to go to be with the lord that is the metaphor that needs to be to be etched into our heart our journey in this world is to fight a good fight and finish the race God has given to us. And then we will be with the Lord. You know? Uh, and that will in store for me is the crown of righteousness for all of us. The crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but to all who have been, who have longed for his appearing. We all long for, for his appearing. All of us will get our crowns. Folks, the journey, life journey is a fight, it's a race. We must win. We run to win by His grace, by His power, by His mercy, by His strength, and by His love. Amen.